Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm gonna bring you along for my kicked up coleslaw recipe that I used on the pulled pork that I just did and had the uh, Carolina red sauce on it. So if it brings you along, and I hope it does because it's so, so easy to do and it's really delicious. Um, go down in the about section below, check out all the links I've left for you. I've got my uh, mailing address if you ever want to drop me a line or a request for a video. You would do that over there. Um, I've got my Wild Tree website where you can shop for all natural organic products or look into becoming a rep for $49. You get $263 worth of products. Um, and you don't have to sell it, but then you get a 20% discount. Uh, you also go check out my Zacon Foods uh, link that's down there. That is where you can sign up for free and um, They'll notify you by email when they have an event in your area to save money. I just ordered 40 pounds of grass-fed, 93% lean ground beef for $3.99 a pound, and um, it'll stock us up for a while. So, that being said, let's go get to this fast and easy coleslaw, probably faster than this central. So, come on. I've got a package of ready-made coleslaw mix in this bowl, and over here in this bowl, because you've gotta have room to mix up what you're doing. I've got my, um, I'm gonna mix my sauce in here. So we're gonna start with fat-free Greek yogurt. And <clears throat> it always looks like you don't have enough sauce, but the vegetables start breaking down immediately. So you're gonna want at least, oh, three-fourths of a cup, sorry about that, of Greek yogurt. You could replace with mayonnaise and sour cream. I'm just trying to tone down the fat, but I used pork tenderloin and now I'm using fat-free Greek yogurt. I've got my Cajun seasoning that I used in on the pork tenderloin. And we're gonna go ahead, whoops, can't get in there with that tablespoon. We're gonna get in here with a couple teaspoons of Wild Trees um, Cajun seasoning. You can use any Cajun seasoning you like. This one is really a good one. There's a couple out there on the market that I really, really like. Um, and that this one happens to be one of them. And then I want a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, some salt, and it's just like creating any other sauce. You've got to have that balance of sweet and tangy and savory and all those things. I want a heaping tablespoon or packed tablespoon of brown sugar. And then we're gonna go ahead with some red wine vinegar. And we'll start with about a tablespoon. Taste it, see where we're at, and we'll go from there. And like I said, once you put this on the vegetables, the vegetables start to slump and wilt, and as long as you've got enough to do a light coating, it works. So, let's give this a taste and see where we're at. Go all around the edge of the bowl, make sure you get all your spices combined well. And they're gonna rehydrate as well, so it's gonna become a little more intense. But, ooh, you want sweet? Mmm, sweet and spicy. Mm, I think we need a little bit more salt. I love the Cajun background. I'm not gonna add any more because it, I don't want it to rule the sandwich. We've got some of my uh, Carolina barbecue sauce that's gonna go on this as well. So, now all we do, get the rest off your whisk, and we're gonna go ahead and toss our coleslaw in this mixture. I'm just clanging all over the place, guys. Mm, it's gonna be delicious. I can't wait. I'm really, really hungry. I know everybody else is really excited to taste this, so. All right. Even though you don't need a big bowl to store this in if you're gonna keep it overnight, because like I said, it wilts pretty quickly, um, you gotta start out with the bigger bowl or you will have cabbage all over your kitchen. <laughs> So I just start mixing until I get some of this coated and um, I'll bring you back when it's all coated and we're ready to make a sandwich or do a taste test for you actually. Give you a taste test 
and move on my way. And here we go. Go right in. Whoa. Wow. I absolutely love coleslaw. I always ask for extra. Mm. If I'm at a restaurant and they give you that as an option. Mmm. Oh, it's sweet, it's spicy, tangy, mmm, mmm-hmm. I can't wait to have this on my pulled pork sandwich. So, it's a perfect amount of Cajun seasoning. Depending on the Cajun seasoning that you use, you may want to vary how much you use, because some can be pretty spicy. This one is, but it's not over the top spicy, so, if you've got a kind of a mild Cajun seasoning, either use more or add a little bit of cayenne pepper or something to it. But guys, this I is hope delicious. this inspires you to uh, maybe step outside the box you might be in and make some Cajun coleslaw because this is delicious and I think everyone's going to love it. And it just puts a different spin on it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, go ahead and share it on your Facebook page and let somebody else try it. And as always, guys, if you're not a subscriber, please hit subscribe. Come along for the ride, and I'll see you next time. All right, guys. God bless.